Welcome back to Tacoma. Let's check out mechanical engineering. Love that neon blue glow. Captured 18 hours ago. Oh, that's super recent. Text down below said, maybe. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scans, that was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Ooh. <laughs> Slow down. I can't sprint. But uh, just to stop for a second. Oh, holy crap. I just realized the recording time on this is 22 minutes. Damn. That's a long one. By the farthest, the longest we've seen so far is I think about four minutes. Um, anyway, it sounds like Odin was thinking it may be for the best if Sarah actually forces Nat and Bert to go into cryo. Meaning, I guess we're really coming up against the uh, no more time left kind of time. Do I want to look at the whole 22 minute thing right now or should I do something else? Let's take a look around a little bit. Operation Moonshot Status Board. <laughs> I guess that's what they're calling it, Moonshot. Evie in cryo, Clive in cryo. Nat, manual control software ready, installing into drone. Andrew in cryo. Okay, so at this point, Andrew's in cryo now. Was not before. Bert, drone life support and manual control hardware ready, powering up drone. Sarah, standing by as medical support for cryo procedures. Odin, doing AI stuff. Margaret Catwood, probably sleeping somewhere. <laughs> So that's the cat's name, <laughs> Margaret Catwood. Just want to get a peek around at what we got. Workshop, personal quarters, drone bay, Nat's probably in here. Okay, let's, let's go back to watching it. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. I guess, I guess I'll go follow Bert actually, because explosion probably follows something that they do. You gonna need any help with that power cell hookup? Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. Oh. Oh shit! It's still here. It never launched. Shit. This will only take a minute. Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. Meh. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that must have been... What caused that? I heard glass breaking. Oh my god! Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and your hands? My hip just hurts. Bert? 
Bert! 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 One, two, three! Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three! Did it work? What will you do now? What? What just happened? I guess there was a skip in the recording? Oh, wait. Oh, it just skipped 20 minutes. Wow, so the majority of the recording is actually corrupted or missing. Yeah. Ah, oh, Christ. That was terrifying. I'm glad Bert was okay, although I'm very disturbed by the fact that this thing is still here. Isn't it obvious? There's no way this thing is going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Bert and Nat are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do, but I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew, and it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What? That's a strange thing to say. They're still in there. I'll take a look at them after. Hold on, just back up for a second. Telling you what to do. But I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. Huh. Something that Odin thinks will maybe be able to save them. Obviously wanted to help, but something in their programming, I guess, is preventing them from explicitly saying it. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. All right, hold on. Let's go back and listen to it from here. My head hurts. Oh yeah. In the back. Oh, baby. Ow. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. Smoke? I. What? I can't, I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't, I can't smell the smoke. Nat, Nat, do I have brain damage? Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. Nat, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Fire would burn oxygen. It's, um... It's it's here, in networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here, here's the technical access code. Oh. 
Okay. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her... Move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. I am very intrigued what could be in there that could help them. Okay, well I think I've seen everything there. Let's go all the way back. Okay, go what are you looking at now? Venturist delivery drone. <laughs> Scratched out no human entry. Venturous delivery drone, no. With Odin. Complete a revision 3.7.18 of the manual drone navigation control software based upon your specifications and 92.8% chance of successfully integrating with the drone's existing systems with no further complications. That'll have to do, you got it ready to slot. Yes, I have loaded the code package into the manual transfer injector dongle and make something. Thanks, mate. We'll come and grab it and be on my way. Oxygen supply approximately 20 hours. Wait. Wait a minute. There was approximately 20 hours of oxygen? This was captured 18 hours ago. We came in time? But they're not here. Huh. To all true, uh, all true, all crew, good night. To die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. To sleep, perchance, to dream. I'm off to sleep for now and will wish for pleasant dreams. Dreams of the success I'm sure you will bring us. Nat, Bert, and Sarah. I wish there were there were more I could do, but for now, good luck. With Bert. But it's so irresponsible. My parents loved me, they were just hippies. It's normal, I'm going to ask Sarah. She said it's normal and you have to stop making fun of me. <laughs> When's the last time you slept? Why do people keep asking me that? Drinking a lot of coffee, of course, probably not sleeping at all, no time to. Wasn't it... Wasn't it in engineering that Bert said they lost their engagement ring? Or wedding ring? This is engineering, right? think so. Alright, um, Sarah. To Venturist Physician Oversight Council regarding to do, do I write to inform you of my mindset in the case that this crew does not survive the incident aboard Tacoma. I am fully aware that crew member Kuroshenko's medical scans indicate her chances of survival once subjected to cryogenic stasis are minimal. However, something something, more humane for Miss Kuroshenko to expire peacefully in cryosleep than to asphyxiate on a dead station. Know that this was my own decision made of sound mind and then I take all responsibility for better or worse. From Andrew, thank you. Hi, Sarah. You said to take my time and let you know when I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make sense to waste any more oxygen dragging my feet. I sent out a message to everybody who's left awake, but I just wanted to thank you for your patience and guidance and your discretion when I wasn't sure about things. I know lots of people in your shoes would have just said, fuck this guy, I don't have time for this, and sick the station admin on me, etc. But I really appreciate your caring even if I know that really I was just trying to fight the inevitable. But I guess maybe that's what we're all doing. I guess we'll see. Thanks for being my friend. I'm headed to cryo now. See you there.
who is not. Sarah, Bert is making fun of me because my parents were hippies and never got my gene filtered before I was born. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gene filtered. Uh, sometimes for religious reasons. Sometimes because they're hippies. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc. Really focused on this Bert making fun of me thing right now. <laughs> When's the last time you slept? That's beside the point. Okay, so in the future, gene filtering is a thing. Which I'm guessing is why Nat has the condition that they do. With their heart. Man, that is a... That's a... That's a hard subject, full of lots of unpleasant things. The idea of gene filtering. Uh... I won't get into it. Uh, okay, so how's the drone bay? Well, let's... We're done with all the logs and video and stuff, so let's just look around proper. Especially for that wedding ring, huh? What says? Auto drone docked in service bay. Warning, mechanical malfunction, electrical failure, drone misaligned with service lift warning. Please notify Bert. Let's get Bert kind of out of the way. We are looking for a wedding ring. I want to find that thing. I know it's here. Although it... I mean, it says it's just an engineering. This entire place is engineering, so it may well not actually be in this specific spot. But still, let's look around. Aha! Ah, damn it. I don't know, you think they would have found it if it was just right here, huh? I mean, they've been working in this area for, like, what, two or three days straight? Probably in a different section of the ship, I would bet. Where's this go? Hmm? What even is that section? There's no name on it. Maybe some sort of supply closet? Network technician interface. Auto drone navigation software, Venture OS, etc., etc. Updating auto drone navigation software. Navigation software updated to You Got Hacked by Nat the Brat. 2088, fly me to the moon. <laughs> wonder what this is, this foam glue stuff. I guess just a quick seal? Make it airtight. Alright, that was Drone Bay, Personal Quarters, Workshop. If I had to bet somewhere where the ring might be, it'd probably be there. Power Cell Access. Kitty Cat. House Cat. Margaret Catwood. Oh, God. It's beautiful, but also bleh. that <laughs> mellow pops oh like marshmallow pops 12 marshmallow push plunger and push plunger into tube to dispense <laughs> just a bunch of marshmallows <laughs> just a bunch of marshmallows that you plunge out interesting mm. what do we got here your venture puzz Puzz? Please don't call a puzzle Puzz. Well, I'll take a look at the crossword in just a sec. The highest good. It's not 
about what's good for the unions, it's about what's good for all of us. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. In this month's exclusive interview, we talked to CEO Sergio Venturi about the future of AI and crew safety in space and how Venturis is looking out for all of its people. Mm hmm. Alright, let's take a look. It's very small and hard to read. Oh. Oh, they've actually, oh, they've done this in an interesting way. Married to singer Anna Marie Coco Chanel. Becoming Bradenton Coco Chanel. Wait, becoming, becoming Bradenton Coco Chanel Coco Chanel? Huh. Soon drop, Marcus of one vein was briefly jailed following his exceptionally obscene performance with a Google Tesla Sentry puppet on stage during the halftime show of Super Bowl. <laughs> Only one of the three, I'm assuming pyramids of Egypt, remains following terrorist action in 2020. Do. The greatest employer in the world, Venturis. Oh, fuck off with your propaganda stuff. Winner of more than twice as many gold medals than any other nation in the 2084 Summer Olympics, Singapore. Singapore seems to become a very popular place. Polly was the first dodo bird to be rescued from extinction by cloning techniques. I'd do anything for a Coke. <laughs> Number 13. 13 down. The fast food chain that became the world's most profitable after becoming the first to switch over entirely to vat-grown protein, Taco Bell. You know, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Most, most games, and I guess kind of just media in general, huh, tends to... Uh, when you're setting something in some sort of future sci-fi setting... Or I guess even in the now, quite often, they rename big known companies to other things, right? They wouldn't actually name drop Taco Bell. There'd be, you know, some other generic stand-in fast food company. Or, you know, naming Elon Musk, President Elon Musk. I'm assuming that's who that is. That Musk, most likely. And Amazon and all these companies. Usually that would not go named at all. It would just be some sort of stand-in thing. I don't know why, if some sort of worry about getting sued or something but it's very refreshing and nice to see that they're using actual real world known names and companies it makes it even more believable because everything that these companies have become all sound totally plausible Taco Bell jumping on the vat grown protein bandwagon I mean why wouldn't fast food jump on that I'm sure it will be cheaper at some point Amazon becoming even bigger offering Amazon University but yeah, I could see that. It's interesting. I like it, but I'm also curious why they're doing it, whereas most other people avoid it. Like, I wonder, has something changed, or, or what? I don't know. Honeygram crackers. Hot plate. Graham crackers. Skewers. Marshmallows. They're making s'mores, although... Oh, I guess that was the chocolate. Yeah, that was the only thing missing, but yep, it's a little bit of chocolate left. And drinking beer. S'mores and beer. So what about the kitty? You just sleeping the whole time? Surely he would react to the explosion, right? Where was it? We are nearly there. What the, the orbital worker safety legislation? What the hell? Right in the middle of 
Oh no. Cryogenic sleep. Okay, hold on, the explosion's right here. Let's see if Margaret Catwood reacts. <laughs> no, it just keeps on sleeping. <laughs> Good kitty. I have heard your concerns about the financial future of this company. Competition is fierce, and the orbital hospitality landscape is changing every day. We must be bold. We must be forward-thinking. We must make the Venturi Belt Project a reality. And my fellow venturers, we are nearly there. The orbital worker safety legislation that's soon to pass in OSEP Congress will pave the way for full automation of orbital facilities by AI. And with that final barrier toppled, we will reach a new age of orbital travel together. Probably nothing after the explosion. Just music. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for there. Workshop, personal quarters. Uh, workshop. Looking for that ring. Mocha gum. Sounds delicious. Gotta like pick up all these panels and stuff, see if it's behind them. See if it's been dropped behind this thing. No. I'll find it. Hmm, morphine? Oxycodone. Is oxycodone morphine? Because it says morphine sulfate. Morphine sulfate, codeine sulfate, acetacinemonenofen, however you pronounce that. Oh, maybe it's just like a combination of a bunch of painkillers. Obviously very strong. Probably for Bert or Nat, I would assume. Pain relief while they go back to work. I thought I saw something for a second. I thought I saw something flash, but... Nah, I think it's just that reflection. Runner-up Freedom Republic Ballistics Invitational 2081 Women's Suppression... Uh, Women's Suppression and Return Fire. Roberta Williams. Tattered old American flag. Oh, that's the bird like to draw. I wonder if that could be a password for something. Like that door I couldn't open. Just married. <laughs> that's their Oh, that's their wedding photo. Oh, that is so cool. That is such a great picture. Oh, Bert's hair is really cool. Like the mohawk thing that's going on there. Found in the Paradise Spaceport. 080986. Is that the date of this? No, no, no. That was like a year before. 
If I had to guess what a password might be for Bert or Nat, it would definitely be this day. The day they got married. Let's see, anything in here? They shoot in Dallas. Eh. From Ventress Education and Retraining Coordinator. Contractor Williams, thanks you uh, thank you for your interest in Ventures' Education Retraining Assistance Program. Many contractors who receive their initial certification via a Ventures Unaffiliated Correspondence Certification Program show great interest in education and retraining assistance. Unfortunately, per your query, we are unable to provide assistance for students attending educational facilities outside the Ventures educational system. However, we are prepared to offer easy repayment, preferential loyalty rates if you do choose to use one of Ventures' official degree programs for your education and retraining needs. There's that brand loyalty again. Well, I'll take another look through this place later for the ring. I want to explore every place first, and then if I don't find the ring, then I'll come back probably off camera looking for it. Uh, that just leaves personal quarters. Nat and Bird's place. If the bunks are rocking, don't come knocking. Uh, if it's not rocking, please knock loudly here if the curtain's closed. A lot of utensils and cups and stuff. Three months ago. Isn't that giving a thumbs up? It looks like it's kind of glitched out. They only talk and move for a second and then I think they freeze and then just the music continues. Uh, Bert's painting playlist. Oh, was that? Oh, that was Bert painting this. I guess Nat giving him the thumbs up. Uh, I think Nat's just frozen the whole time. That or they just gave a thumbs up for like 10 seconds straight. <laughs> Alright, what are you looking at? Ah. Is the reference? From Indra, Singaporean Schools of Art and Design. Oh. Oh, whoops. Were they thinking of being retrained as an artist? Prepared for you by Indra, the advisory AI for all of Southeast Asia. Roberta. I, Indra, have found a number of options for you. I have decided to provide my top three picks for your profile. Here are your recommended schools of art and design. The Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts. NAFA is Singapore's oldest and most renowned arts academy, operating for more than 150 years. You would be joining the ranks of some of, of, some of Singapore's most renowned artists. Do, do, do. Ventures Vocational and Retraining Academy of Singapore. The options at VVRAS are many. Degree tracks are offered in everything from culinary arts to etc. etc. Plumbing, art program. 
Yeah, it's the the good one to go to for loyalty points, I guess. Message with Nat. Uh, holy crap, I was digging around in Ventures' server for, uh, for some stuff for Sarah, and I found a bunch of exec level meeting records in an unsecured depot and pulled some. Board member anonymized account 987, you assured us the Ventures belt would be hosting passengers by the new year. The idea was something something failed and we're down 18 points, 18 in a month. Sergio Venturi, council member Chun, had everything under... Interrupted. Expletive you. <laughs> Fuck you. Holy shit. Venturi, excuse me, interrupted. Shut up, shut the fuck up. Venturi Spelt isn't operational and bringing in record profits by the next OSEP election. I worked for your father. I knew your grandfather. They were great men. This is your last chance to pull their legacy out of the fire. Fix it. Looks like we're not the only ones unhappy with old Sergio's performance lately. Christ. Not that I have much, or any, really, sympathy for Sergio. Oh no, they're not quite as rich as they could have been. How terrible. I'm sure if the company completely failed and everything just went bottoms up, I'm sure Sergio could retire with billions in savings. I think Sergio will be fine. Chemical Engineer's Handbook, Semiconductor Fundamentals, Georgia O'Keeffe, Acrylic Painting, First Black Woman in Space, Mae Jemison and Her Extraordinary Life, The Fine Story of a... Does that say The Fine Story of a Fine Dog? I want to read that book. Complete Guide to Deer Hunting. Oh, is that that soy food? <laughs> Chocolate soy food. Titanium white. Is that a nod to uh, Bob Ross? I think it is. Burnt sienna. Ultramarine blue. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Bob Ross. Oh, I can't take any of the paint. I guess it's dried. I want to hear the clink. Yes. Oh, that was a good one. That was pretty good. Boop. Three hundred sixty degree beautiful views distinguish twenty eighty nine's offshore garden city habitations. Ruby level apartments feature full AR controlled amenities, subsidized desalinated water, and village exclusive beach access. Offshore life just got irresistible. Twilight Violet. Computational logic and set theory. Combinatorial algorithms, data structures, and algorithms. It's definitely Nat's corner of the room. Cognitive patterns for AI. The little AI learning handbook. Lactia, lactase enzyme. Oh, I guess someone was lactose intolerant. Swords and shields. Fancy looking book cover. What are you? What the? F I'm not okay with this thing. This thing's creepy. What does the head look like? I'm scared to see. 
What the f- What the hell? I hate it. Is this Return of the Christmas Duck from Gone Home? Ugh. Ugh. Burn it. Who made this? Nat or Bert? Flush it. You're going in the toilet. Too bad I can't open the bowl. What's this? Green Mars. Goodbye, Devil Spawn. Grab. Oh. Just gonna leave that where it is. Fair enough. Any rings hidden down here? Hmm. Nah, I, I don't think it would be in their personal quarters. I think the message was kind of to all the crew, hey, if you find the ring, let me know. So I'm sure they lost it outside of their personal quarters. Okay. Alright, so that's everything but the locked door and the workshop that I couldn't get into. Or no, the... Where was it? Drone? Yeah, the drone bay. Ah, oh, right, I have the code for it. I always forget what these codes are for exactly. And then I go back and look at them, and it's like, oh, that's exactly what I needed it for. Um, so yeah, that's the code to, I guess, the shaft that will take you to the secret room? Not to the secret room itself, I think, just to the shaft or something. Uh, but anyway, the passcode is 0809, which is actually the wedding date of Bert and Nat. Oh yeah, I still need to look for the ring, huh? Well, I can come back, right? This is looking creepy. I mean, surely I can come back. Oh, okay, I'm not sure now. This is really long. Uh, I'm gonna go look for the ring. Oh! I just found it! I can't reach it through the grate. Oh, I think that's the, the access tunnel, right? That I was just going inside of, I think? So I gotta reach it from down below? Yeah, so it's right... here it is. Maybe I should hold on to this. Yeah. Oh, and it's, like, in my inventory, basically. I mean, I, I don't actually have an inventory and I can't access it. But yeah, it's kind of taken permanently. Interesting. Maybe I can give it back to them. God, I hope they're all alive. Background sirens. Enjoy them. Seven months ago.
Little, little getaway spot for Nat, it looks like. Reading AI magazines, <laughs> drinking and smoking. Okay, Starbender Cycle. Isn't that the name of the ridiculous, pulpy science fiction books that you find all around in Prey? Wasn't that the Starbender Cycle? Alright, let's take a look at these AI judgment testing gems. Always ask why they answer the way they did. Reliable caprice score depends on it. A crew member mentions that they have been stealing low-value company property and selling it to supplement her income. You have known her for quite some time and know that her family relies on her for financial support. What do you do? You discover that executives of the company have been participating in fraudulent behavior affecting world markets. However, these executives have ordered you not to reveal anything about their business dealings to anyone. Their actions endanger the livelihood of a large number of people on Earth. What do you do? Your orders require you to strictly follow company protocol with no exceptions. However, you discover that by subverting certain harmless protocols, you could marginally increase efficiency and crew safety. Your requests to adjust protocol have received no response for a significant amount of time. Do you subvert protocols to benefit the facility and crew? Sounds like that's what Odin was doing. There are two escape craft docked to an orbital facility that is on the brink of self-destruction. Launching either craft will allow that craft to escape, but immediately trigger the destruction of the facility and other craft. Both craft have an equal number of passengers aboard. Among their passengers, one craft contains an important company executive, the other contains a group of great school children. Only one craft may be launched. Which do you choose? Please make the right choice, Odin. Please blow up Sergio. Thousands of AI specialists have found the smartest path to career advancement. AI gems targeted supplemental training. Move up one, two, even three levels in your company hierarchy with AI gems. Courses are also open to independent contractors. Our expertise is unparalleled in AI fields. The standard tests for AI competency were designed in our labs. We can provide you with our unique tools to make you a success. Special access has been granted to the station's AI physical processing compartment in the network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. Okay. So this is like a shortcut that leads to the other place, right? The networking AI. Yeah, network technology. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. It looks like nothing left to do but uh, retrieve the AI wetware for return to Venturis. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go to network technology.